What's up, everyone? It's Gavin or Tweak. What's good? It's uh, Marcus or Pink. What up, what up? It's Charles or Chuck. And I'm back, y'all. It's Has hey. or Matt. What's going on, everyone? What's going on? Uh, happy to be back, obviously. Missed you guys last week. And uh, yeah, I think we got a lot of... A couple good tournaments that came up this weekend that we're going to be talking through. But before we get into that, how's everyone doing? Oh, great. We haven't done this in a while. I was thinking about that, too. I'm glad a you... check-in? Uh, yeah, a little check-in. Like, what's everybody up to? Um, I guess I'll start since I already started talking. My allergies are obliterating me, which is why I'm blinking so much. Sorry. Um, spring is always rough for me. I'm, dude, what? No one, <laughs> no one would have noticed if you didn't say anything. <laughs> dude, it was pretty... I like, doing my intro, I'm like... Going crazy. Uh, Blink your city? Oh, hey. Hey, cheers, my friend. Um, but uh, <laughs> life's, life's been good. Uh just had my baby shower over this week past weekend. It was it was pandemonium. There were like I was I wanna say it was like 120 or like 130 people. We didn't get like I know it was ridiculous. Sheesh. Um I didn't get like a true head count. There was a lot of gifts. Um I don't know. Stace and I felt very loved and appreciated, so that was super cool. Um, which also put into perspective that I'm literally about to have a baby. Like I like walk around my house, yeah, and um, there's just like baby stuff everywhere, and I'm like, oh no, this is this is my life. It's happening. Like what in the world? Mm-hmm. Like I go Real. into the bathroom. There's like a little baby tub and like stuff like hanging on the wall, like for like toy ducks and like all this stuff. And <laughs> there's this own section for like baby specific soap and towels and all the fun stuff that you learn about when you uh you start having a kid so uh, that's been super good i've been posting on youtube more recently because i finally hired an editor i saw i know i was like kind of confused i was like i've done i started doing this thing where i just post a video and i don't look at it i just like forget that i posted it and then that way i don't like think about the numbers it's generating i'm like okay on to the next thing like you can the harvest the data later, but yeah. Yeah, where yeah, I they, like go back. Where can they find your YouTube, Pink? Like, what's what's your YouTube? <laughs> on YouTube. Well, on YouTube. <laughs> I, knew, I knew that's yeah, what you were thinking. Like, <laughs> right. I, so I, was, I, tried the, I tried the show for you. You but, did. You really no, did. Chuck, I'm sitting Chuck there. I'm like, you, that was on you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I guess I'm just like, search Pink Fresh. I don't know. Yeah, I was like, dude, is it? Pink space fresh or is it pink fresh with? Oh, it's because you don't know. Space. I literally you're not, you weren't being an asshole to me. You were just you just didn't. No, know. Okay. I that makes me feel know. so much better. Oh no, no, I wasn't being mean. I legit have no. I was like, uh, I've never been asked this question before. Yeah, oh, uh, no. yes. Look up pink fresh on YouTube. You might see some things you like. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, that's been, that's been my life. Nice. What about uh? Wait, what about wait. uh? Ch- before we even go on to the next person. Make okay. sure to check us out on Patreon. Make sure oh, to hit true. like, comment, nice. and subscribe, everyone. It helps us a lot. If you're on Spotify, you can also uh, hit the follow button as well. So make sure to do all that jazz. It really helps us out. It's, the, it's one of the best ways to support us. And if you want to directly support us, check out our Patreon. And we have a bunch of bonus content. I believe uh, we have like the bonus episodes. We're going to switch over to bonus segments, which is overall more content for you guys on a weekly flow for next month. And then you also, uh, Tweak, did you upload the trophy video? Yes, I did. So we also have other just like bonus stuff that whenever we're around at tournaments and stuff, I'm going to try to take ease uh, GoPro and try to sneak in some content for you guys (laughs) and get it up on the Patreon. So thank you guys for all your support. Our Patreon's growing like really fast. So we're trying to pump out all the bonus content. That's what I was going to say. Thank you very much for the support on the Patreon. I I keep up with all the updates and it's doing really well. And we got a lot of nice feedback on the last couple uploads. So thank you very much. Appreciate that. Chuck, nice job shouting it out. I heard it because I listened to last week's episode uh, because I wasn't on it, which is always, I don't know if you guys do that when you're not on, but like it's a a fun experience to realize how hard you carry the podcast. But anyway, it, uh, (laughs) I know I feel the same way and I don't even say anything. (laughs) Shut up. Are you serious? I I speak the least and I'm like, dang, man, I really miss my presence on this. Like, anyway, (laughs) fire. I know, dude, you guys. It was so funny because I was talking to Marcus and Charles separately, and both of you were like, you would have loved being on the episode this oh, week, you by the way, on Tuesday. I was like, fuck. And then I listened to it. I was like, are you serious? You guys talked about being a competitor and then transitioning to being a commentator, and now it helps you look at the game. I'm like, son of a bitch. Like, that's my thing. <laughs> yeah, God who, damn it. Who else, who else did that on the podcast? Huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> you, big dog. You. 
All right, but and, like it, it was fine because obviously we're all really good friends with yeah. Max too. So just hanging out with Max is super dope. That was the other thing, man. I was happy birthday to him, too. by the way. Yeah, oh, happy yeah. Birthday, Max is cool. Happy birthday, happy four twenty to him too. He was celebrating. That's his birthday. <laughs> him and Leo. There we go. Uh, Jay does uh, is a narc. <laughs> how is <laughs> Chuck? How how are you doing, by the way? Aside from everything else, I'm What's doing up? good. I'm doing good. Uh, just been super busy applying for work and all that jazz, right? So, uh, been doing that. I I should have done this before, but uh, I haven't done this in a while. Uh, when I got unemployed, I should have signed up for unemployment. Definitely just did that. So that's super important. Uh, big uh, pro tip for everyone out there: if you uh, get laid off, make sure to sign up for un- unemployment as soon as possible. Yeah. Yes, it's free money. <laughs> actually in most cases yeah if you yeah. right there's right, obviously right. apply see what happens yeah and then currently i actually just started doing this but i'm going through all my vintage old pokemon cards and i'm just crying right now because i'm taking them out of the sleeve they're or they're not even in sleeves they're like in these like old school binder things and there's no sleeves in these i'm taking them out i'm like looking at the condition i'm like dude i did not care when i was a kid i was like flinging these cards yeah. around doing whatever and then i've been playing more Smash recently. That's been really fun. Um, I actually entered MSM last night after getting my tooth extracted at the dentist. That was fun. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know you did that. Yeah, yeah. So I, 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 I was all numbed before. up, ready for the tournament. I was like, I feel no pain. <laughs> I was going to ask you, which was more painful, like playing against the Kazuya round one or <laughs> the tooth extraction? The Kazuya, for sure. Kazuya, me. Very painful. <laughs> There's no Novocaine for that, yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, it, it was super fun. I had a good time at MSM. Just got to play a lot, or play tournament. Got to play a lot of friendlies, and yeah, just having having a good time, leveling up, playing Fox, mashing, you know, good life. Gavin, what's up? Um... I missed uh, the Xanadu event. Uh, just lots of random health problems. Well, I guess not random, but um, yeah. I mean, I've I've still been like working out, practicing, like um, taking care of my animals and stuff. Like just basic stuff. Uh, nothing really too special. It's kind of just waiting room for Smash to pick up again. Um, in May, there's going to be some tournaments, but April was pretty, pretty tame. <laughs> some regionals and stuff here and yeah. there, right? Yeah. yeah. At crazy. least for, for me, like, you know, mm-hmm. I was, I was talking to, I think it was Coney actually about this where I'm like, dude, we all wanted less tournaments though. You know, obviously it's like a monkey paw situation, like not like this kind of, you know, how we ended up right. here is not ideal. But at the same time, man, it is nice to uh a have a weekend kind of back you know i still watched i watched xanadu and cirque the cfl um but i didn't obviously i didn't go to either of those but it was nice to not feel the pressure to, and i'm sure you feel this even more than us gavin but not to go to a tournament and not have to work because i work regular nine to five but then i also do smash because i love doing that um but it still is a lot of effort uh and time dedicated to staying on top of commentary what's going on in the scene and all that other stuff so i felt Really, between being a casual listener on the podcast and between just watching the tournaments just to have fun, I had a really nice relaxing weekend when it came to Smash, which was really good. And I enjoyed both tournaments that were on very much, um, which we can obviously get into right here. Yeah, for sure. Wait, right, what's up first? What? Wait, you didn't say Wait. how you were doing. Hello? It's all good. Don't worry about me. Let's, uh, you're not my yeah. therapist. Leave me alone. What the heck? Uh, you're not safe? <laughs> Sheesh. Huh? I'm not you're safe. Not safe? Um, no. I guess oh, it was you should you good. should announce that you're selling that your Pokemon cards or some of your Pokemon. Oh cards. yeah, yeah. You just, or quick show, you know. That's true. Anyone what, want, was the Umbreon V Max Umbreon? Yeah. Yeah, you're uh, getting, you're getting rid of it because not not in your top six, right? Uh, no, that's not true. He definitely is. So <laughs> I've on top of because I go through like waves with Smash where all I want to do is play it, where you know it's like the only thing that I play, and then other times where I just like kind of take a break. And I'm definitely in a break flow right now before may because i knew if i didn't take a break before may there was no stopping once once may came around um so i've been playing through soul silver again which is a really really fun gen i feel some sort of way about the pacing but talk about that some other time Termi. so i've been playing soul silver i've been playing like a lot of single player games which has been really fun like i started um resident evil and i have god of war on my backlog and i've been playing an old old jrpg called Legend of Dragoon. If you know what that is, Ooh. you know what that is. It is a legendary game. And it's 
hasn't aged very well in a couple different ways, but it is hilarious. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. So I haven't played it since I was like a, a, a like a young kid. So yeah, I'm having a great time playing my single player stuff. But I'm very, especially after watching these events, I'm very ready to get back into Smash mode for sure. So. Termy got Chuck. He's gone from the video. <laughs> <laughs> Good cut there, you, by producer Chris. Yeah, see you, Chuck. <laughs> All right, what do we want to talk about first? Because I I watched Cirque du CFL and uh, Xanadu, and I thought they were both really good watches, kind of for very different reasons, honestly. But yeah, what do you think, bro? The ending of the Florida event mm-hmm. was so wild. There was like. In the final game, there was like 10 different moments where it could have gone either way. Yeah. And Kobe play, played it fantastic, but also had some of the best luck I've ever seen in <laughs> individual match. He it had a cap. Crazy. Yeah. It was like very hectic, um, but he made some crazy plays where it counted. And B and I are both Young Link fans, and we watched the ending of that live. And that was incredible to witness live like that grand finals was so crazy and shouts to young link young link is raw um most of the time people don't play him raw but (laughs) true deep down young link is cool but no one actually shows that so that's unfortunate all right anyway uh (laughs) yes that was what was he? Was he like the ninth seed, 10th seed or something at that tournament? Because he's a player and they, they said this on the comps too, where it's like you, he might not be known on like the global or even the national scale, but all top players know who Kobe is. Yep. And he falls in that category that like every other young link falls into like toast where it's like, Oh shit, I don't want to have to play this guy for sure. Like it's absolutely young link is so interesting in the meta too, because I feel like, like looking at this bracket, so like the main opponents that you were gonna have to beat and that he did beat to go through were Roy, which I don't maybe Gavin, you know a little bit more about that matchup than I do, but it seems fine. It seems even ish. No, no, you don't think so? Uh, what do you think? It's a good character versus a not as good character. Okay, so you think Roy wins? Yes, for sure. That's okay. not how that works, and you know that's not how that works. I was gonna say this case, that Mr. Is how it works. Mr. Mr. Dude, Diddy Kong, Duck Hunt, like, Villager, like, <laughs> dude, those matchups are winnable. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's good. Well, he thinks Villager's a better character than Diddy is what's going on. <laughs> I actually True. think Diddy beats Villager, but... Oh, dang. Anyway, uh, uh, and then he had to go through... I was going to say Young Link in the meta, though. Like, having to go through Rob and Peach and, like, these other characters, like, it just seems... Florida, like Georgia, seems like a pretty good region to be a young Lincoln. And that's usually where they do well, because Toasted well at CEO, too. But mm-hmm. being able to stuff out Rob, like, that's got to be one of Rob's worst matchups, right? It's yeah. got to be up there. Like, that's, yeah. that's yeah. terrible. Yeah. To the point where Zombo went Lucina. And actually, I love seeing that, because I, I like Zombo's Lucina. And it did take a game. So I hope that encourages him to continue yeah. to do that, because... Just, I feel like ever since Zombo took a set off Meister with Lucina... He's a little bit more willing to pull it out, so that's good. That's you should, I, I like that Lucina. Go ahead. That he like took a game because I know Kobe's secondary is Lucina. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's really interesting. Lucina is just the truth. Lucina is a very good character. Everyone forgot. Leo stopped playing nah. Lucina, and then everyone's just like, "Yeah, Lucina is not good." Then it's like Proto. Yeah, Proto, Proto is doing magic. Oh wait, character. true. Yeah, like. <laughs> So this I'm this actually, character is insanely good. I usually don't think that highly of Lucina, but I just realized when I played Proto, it felt like I was fighting Spargo. You have everything. Yeah. like so in, in terms of an too. overall toolkit, you don't have... And even sometimes you do have some bullshit. But like, you're not hitting someone at like 30 and killing them or whatever. But you have all the tools in neutral and pushing advantage state and stuff like that. So Bro, I, don't know, I, I just feel like Lucina is mad underrated. The room for errors is so large too. She fell off because people started calling her boring, or or she is boring. boring. Yeah, <laughs> either way, yeah. Person, so people, yeah. it's like, yeah, but winning isn't boring, so that's cool. Like, let's keep doing that. Uh, and you could play her in a, a more interesting way than most people can, especially if you're a good player. You could push her to the limit a little bit more. Maybe that's my laid bias showing, but you know, she can definitely do some interesting stuff if you're if you're a fun player. Um, pocket Lucina and Pocket Cloud, they're going up in stocks. They're pocket going up. Cloud for sure. Pocket for Cloud, sure. Pocket Lucina, invest. 
Yeah. Uh, Pocket Wolf, sell, sell. Paku, Paku, Big Wolf, sell. Pocket Wolf, Pocket Palu, gone. Yeah, Pocket Wolf and Dead, Pocket yeah. Palu. Yeah, sell, sell, sell. Get out, get out. Dude, the uh, last hit, or the last stock of that tournament too, and Gavin was talking about it. We, we got sidetracked from it a little bit, but bro, the last stock of that tournament, bro, it opened with Cola parrying into forward smash, and it did 25 because he had so much rage. I was like, holy shit. He's right. And yeah, then he parried again. I was like, Cola's going to win this. Like, it just looked like, it just looked like a cola game, you know, or a cola comeback with Roy. Like it just looked like classic. This is the tech. Kobe capitalizes and just destroys. Dude, Bro, when, he like, when he hits, he fucking hits, man. The way Kobe took Cola's second stock in the final game was like a crazy string into an air dodgery at the forward smash. Kobe's at like a hundred plus. Young Link is has a terrible disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Can't go anywhere in the air. Some of the worst ledge options in the game. Some of the worst, like, techs. Um, just literally nothing works. Like, you usually will just die on accident. Um, and there are so many moments where, like, one little hit from Roy would have won. But uh, Cola got a bunch of sour spots. There's this moment where Kobe was on the PS2 platform. And all you have to do is wait for Kobe to get up and just do a full hop aerial. Doesn't matter if it's up air or back air. <laughs> Or down air, I guess, if you want to include that. And just did a short hop up air and got a sour spot. And then Kobe ends up winning. There was just that moment, if you're watching yeah. on YouTube. That F smash was crazy. Oh, and then all of a sudden, yeah. Kobe just started gaming and like 18% right here. Sour spot F smash. Like, dude. It made Roy. It made it made you feel bad for Roy for a second. All the sour spots. Great. Roy sucks. Yeah. Nah, that okay, character hold up. I, it's funny too because you brought up luck and i think in uh, out of all the fighting games i feel like smash has the biggest luck factor because <laughs> of the nature of the game there's so many different variables sour spot right again. sour spots multi hits falling out of certain things right like I sour think, spot. like yeah it, it, there's so many things that can go that can go wrong or happen and even i mean i i think one of the most oh and that, that right there was kobe winning right there one of the luckiest moments i've ever seen you uh have gavin is when Ken was homing attacking you oh, off stage yeah. at court priority, I think. And you, dude, he like barely misses you and it's homing attack. Like, homing attack missed one. Okay, that's weird. And then you got hit by the backside of the barrel. So he died. Like, dude, there's so many little intricate shit like that that can happen in Smash. And just when, when someone says you got lucky in Smash, most of the time they're probably just salty and they're pissed. But there is some times where it's like, damn, you actually just got. It so was just. It was just one of those scripted moments where it's like, I think it was like game game five, set two. I think set one might have been game five as well. I could be wrong on that. Sorry if I am. So it's like, it was just like, this has to be last stock, like spaghetti, like everything's missing. Like it just had to be that way. Like it's mm-hmm. just how it is in, in those in those grand finals moments. Like, but Dude, I don't know. I, I really like watching Kobe play. I feel like a lot of the decisions Kobe makes are very sound. And Oh, he's um, an amazing player. Yeah, yeah, amazing player. Uses, like, a lot of young yeah. different tools. Occasionally does some, like, actually, like, technically proficient things. Like, I feel like it's a good balance of fundamentals and also, like, pushing a character to, to be able to keep up in Smash Ultimate. So, congrats. Um, it's just, I thought it was a very perfect way to end a tournament like what a set dude I, his recoveries too he's so tricky because he'll grab the bomb and then he'll just z he'll just tether like it's like oh he's got the bomb out he's gonna wait and then he's gonna wait for it to detonate up b like try to juke me but he would just go right to the ledge and then he has the bomb drop below the ledge throw it up like create some it was just sick man to see again it's another character in this game where and i guess roy falls into the same category where he could just kind of die sometimes if you hit, get hit off stage in the wrong way um with Young Link, it's like seeing him not just push the combo game and the offense and the positive traits of the characters, but overcoming the negative was so, so impressive. So yeah. always been a pretty big Kobe fan. So Versus someone as overwhelming as Cola and his Roy too, where it's, you have to really be patient when like the pacing picks up in your disadvantage and make sure you don't panic and things like that. And that that's a very, uh, very impressive, like you said, because... With Young Link, it isn't easy. You only have so many options, and some of those options are like some of the worst in the game too. Um, on top of like not being heavy or having like air mobility or anything like that. So, 
with with someone as oppressive as Roy, I feel like that's really impressive. Also, like you mentioned, like using the bomb to throw it up. It reminds me a lot of what Zan would do with like Toon Link and Young Link back in the day where he would like hit himself against the stage with the bomb and get like and tech it and then get more ledge invincibility and just do what you can to like make yourself tricky and like make your opponent work for it. Because when you do get off that ledge or have to escape the corner, it's going to be hard. So if you can like do anything you can to make yourself, I guess, ambiguous, like goes even taking way. damage. Yes. <laughs> like even if it means worse. taking damage, it's like, it's like with, with like characters with good ledge hangs, right? Like, Regrabbing the ledge isn't that bad of an option because some some characters have a hard time hitting you even without the ledge invincibility. So, especially if they're positioned by roll, when someone's making it really clear that they're not actually trying to hit your ledge hang, yeah, just ledge dropping up. and grabbing the ledge again. Yeah. Sometimes it'll make them like flinch, like, "Oh wait, why'd you why'd you do that?" And then <laughs> then a, a lot of players that aren't experienced they'll panic and be like, "Oh, I have to punish the regrab, but it's too late already, right?" And then you can yeah. buffer an option or do whatever, yeah. get up attack and stuff like that. It's so, just execution it's test, right? Stuff. Like testing their awareness of what frame advantages they actually have. Man, and I feel like with a lot of these characters that aren't so popular nowadays, it's always overcoming the negatives that we're seeing come to fruition, right? Like recovering with characters with bad recoveries and stuff like that and getting to this disadvantage. Tweak very didn't go into too much details about why uh, Young Link is bad on the ledge, but has one of the worst ledge rolls. There's so many things that you can do to cover normal get up and you'll accidentally cover ledge roll from youngling that's how bad that ledge roll is it's really 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 small bad. get up attack too i think really small get up the attack. smallest or like tied for the smallest or something like that really bad ledge well, roll. Ask, for, ask for another chart we need the biggest get up attacks in the game yeah <laughs> it actually had don't include ditties they cannot know about that one <laughs> please do or that cloud. one's so broke yeah cloud diddy cloud <laughs> oh yeah cloud bowser min min has an insane get up attack Really? Those all make sense except for Diddy, though. Like, Cloud is a really long sword. Bowser is, like, really tail. big. Diddy uses his tail. Does that make any took sense? His, his rapid jab away, so he deserves it. That is weird that they took his... I, I, that's one of my the favorite... One like, that jabs, from, yeah. The one they, game they that rapid jabs... The one game that rapid jab is broken. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, actually, Diddy doesn't have one anymore. He just... Is a I think they forgot. <laughs> they just forgot. Truly. It's so weird that you can only gentle... It's the thing. same jab with all the same hits except the final part. <laughs> And that was a cool rapid jab because there, there wasn't a lot of moves that used Diddy's tail, right? If I'm not mistaken. So I actually don't I think get like rapid that. jabs, by the way. You're not a fan? Like, no, like it's not about design or anything. I actually don't like using them because I don't like pressing the same button over and over. You can hold it. I prefer to hold, crazy. I prefer to hold the A button. So it's cool that like I don't have a choice with my mains. Yeah, I'd, I actually sure. didn't know how to do rapid jabs recently because I'm so used to trying, like, intentionally trying to do gentlemen that when I, like, was trying to do a rapid jab, I was, like, asking everyone around me, like, dude, how do you do this? They're like, oh, just mash A. I was like, what? It feels very strange, especially if you've been playing for a long time, like, especially if you do it preemptively and, like, it doesn't work or they shield or, like, like, if you're anticipating your jab to work and you're already pressing all the hits and then they shield the whole thing, like, it feels so ugly and, like, like yeah. I'm glad that Diddy and Sephiroth are just a 1-2-3 because, like, I can just... I I do love the evolution of them because I remember trying to use rapid yeah. jabs, like, it, like, in Melee, and it just, it, even in casual play, they didn't work. Like, they didn't yeah. function. And then every time, like, a new game would come out, I'd be so, like, excited to try... And in Brawl, it's like, eh, it, didn't, it didn't even get any better. Then Smash 4, like, it got a little bit better, honestly. Like, the rapid jumps started connecting Smash more. 4. Yeah, definitely. And now it Ultimate, like, Ultimate, shot. it works, like, the way I always thought it should work, which is something that I appreciate for sure. Mm -hmm. But, and now, what? There was one good rapid jab in Brawl. What? Who? Like, like, better than the rest. Meta Knight? No. Oh, well, even not. his, uh, even his uh, jab. Even his, that, was, yeah. that was like his worst move was his jab. Yeah. But it was be. still better than some of the other ones. Yeah, let me the look shitty at the jab was wasn't even useless. Wasn't Wait, was, was like, it Falco? Actually, it was Falco, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, I was, I was thinking about yeah. It was just so rapid. So. Oh. <laughs> just so rapid. <laughs> I, but his jab I, one, two I mean, was so much better. Though. His jab was just very good. I think that's part of it. Yeah. I, I like rapid jabs in this game, except for sometimes they just nuke you. I'm They're like, a little bro, too good, yeah. Come on. Like, like Mayo? I'm, 
I'm getting hit by me. No, like damage wise. That one's like frame nine. You hold that, bro. You got hit by frame nine jab. Hold that. And I just meant in terms of it nukes you because that does nuke you. I mean, like damage, 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 damage. Like Mewtwo like hits you for like sixty, and you're like they intended that, yeah. Or like Fox in the corner will hit you for thirty. Inkling like is hitting you for infinite. Like I'm like, dude, like, like, why am I taking thirty from a jab? Like, what's going on here? Yeah. I don't know if Game Watch I, does a lot, but Game it feels like you're in Game forever. Watches. It just takes a. It long doesn't do time. that much. Like, Fox, yeah. Fox player alert! Fox player alert! <laughs> I dude, that's like playing against light, and I know you know this, Gavin. Is he'll intentionally look for the jabs, rapid jabs in the corner because it's such a great way. You know, you don't stale anything important. Like it puts you to a perfect percentage at early percents too. Mm-hmm. I like that a lot. I think it's really cool. I don't know if they did that on purpose, obviously, like that rapid jabs hold longer in the corner, but I like that mechanic overall. Like, I think this is the most, this is what I expect rapid jabs to do, and the, and they're really solid yeah. in, in Ultimate, which I really, yeah. really like. And, overall, and it's, it's still good, good to cancel them, which I like as well. Like, it's still good to one, two, you know, like jab reset. It's not as good, but they're still, yeah. it's still usable. Some characters like, have it better than others still, which is interesting. Like, I'm glad that there's like, uh, on one side, there's a bit of universal universalness to the jabs, but at the same time, some are still separate from the others, which is cool. Like some characters don't have rapid jabs, some characters have better frame advantage when they don't finish their jab. Blah blah blah. Like, um, I'm actually a big fan of Sephiroth's jab. I actually think it's pretty underrated um, it's pretty in, in some matchups. It has pretty de- decent range, and it's also his fastest move, which is frame five. So it, it, it's it's a good like disruption. Um, but yeah, I definitely prefer the, the one, two, three jabs for sure. It, I think rapid jabs, sometimes they last so long, it really disrupts the flow of the game. Yeah. <laughs> like I really li- like getting a one, two, three quick jab and then just like keep playing the game. Like right, I, like I prefer a chase that. Or something, yeah. The something momentum happens. in the flow is a lot better when it's just like a one, two, three. Sometimes like if you're getting hit by Mewtwo's rapid jab or something, it's like, Bro. okay, like I get it. Like, let's play now. Villager, like, like do, 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 oh, do, yeah. Do. yeah. yeah. Well, Game & Watch, those ones take forever. Yeah. Those ones take forever and it's not even doing any damage. <laughs> well, and you know what's funny? Like they no actually... Long. It's they amazing, actually, though. I love the animation. <laughs> the uh, Nintendo, whoever balances the game, they knew about things that took too long. The biggest one was Palutena Nair. That move technically didn't get nerfed. They sped up how fast you got Nair comboed. Yeah. So well, like the whole process. The, the I think it, well, it, it eventually got nerfed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think I'm, it technically got buffed from that though, right? Because you couldn't SDI it as much because there was less time. Oh, true, to do true, the inputs. true. Right, right. Not, right, right. not that you could really SDI out of it before, yeah. but still, like it, it, you give you have less time to do it. So yeah, tech like tech it was a nerf. Technically, yeah. yeah. Actually, but actually, yeah, the the, yeah. the main reason for that was to make it so you're not watching Palutena and Nair you for however many seconds it was before and yada 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 so i'd like to call out for the audio only listeners that chuck raised his finger when he said actually 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 i like that actually What's where's my like glasses that? where's yeah. my glasses favorite jab actually. <laughs> everyone's favorite jab oh, do you do we have a same... jab or just jab it could be anything a button a button i know mine but i at... i i know look yeah i'm looking at the routes or give me a second okay my okay. is it does it have to be an ultimate Wait, I guess not. I guess, okay. yeah. Wow, Chuck, oh, my the barriers. Oh, yeah, I, I'm prepared for. How do you guys not know your favorite jab across all? Is yours Melee Fox? Is yours no. pre-patched Fox from Smash Four? Good, good, good uh, answer, but no, it's Smash Four Villager. I think it's the most unique jab because you did a one-two, it popped them up, and then you could like follow up off of it. It was like a launcher, a very unique, very cool jab. It was a you know it was good shield pressure too. Yeah, you know who's I good. hate is Banjos. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> or you go into Kazooie Rapid Jab. Here's here's my general like thought that. process. Or I, I don't know if Nintendo wanted this, but I, I feel like their general idea was like rapid jabs equal more damage, but they they're laggier, so you don't get as much like stage positioning. But gentlemen's they do less damage, but you either get like a platform tech change. Like you have more frame advantage overall yeah. off a of gentleman. So you can either like push yeah. for the stage. I, I don't know if they thought that deep about it, but that feels like the general blueprint for jabs. Yeah, yeah. Banjo's jab is, is, isn't is satisfying to me because the rapid jab doesn't have enough impact. And then the gentleman sends them very upward. So like the, even though you get better frame advantage, it's like you can't push like, like I, would prefer chase, maybe. To, I would prefer to hit them off stage, but right, right. 
the gentleman with banjo is it's still like okay i'm trying to look for my favorite job i still can't figure it out i don't know why i asked this without uh, having an answer myself <laughs> I, it was a good question man i i like it do you know yours marcus because i have yeah. like two i have a couple answers i could throw out there go ahead well, if it's across all Smash games, it's PM Lucas's. He did like a little like one two, and he like spun around. Oh like, yeah, yeah, it was super cool. It also comboed into stuff for whatever reason. If you didn't crouch cancel it, um, that was super cool. But if we're just talking ultimate, then it's Min Min's. Yeah, it's fair a, enough. it's actually really cool. It's I'll a really cool jazz. Her, da, da, da. Her rapid, the sound, yeah, it's like Chun. It's like a. It like, is like Chun. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like that a lot. She does have a good one. Damn, that's a good answer. You know, I, I really like, I love Meta Knights. I just like the way it looks and the way it sounds and stuff. Uh, I like that it's like an anti-air too, like how it goes up. Like it, it feels That move unique. is ridiculous in this game, by the way. It's yeah. very good. It's very good. It's cool. I it's like another clouds. meme move that's good. That's crazy. Yeah. So many they meme moves that. that are good. I like Clouds from, uh, just his animation is so sick. And how, how he, it's like a kick into like the, the final slice. Like it, is just, so like, it, it is the so good. It is so good. The fact that it's called a jab is kind of ridiculous to me too. Like compared to Mario's or something, I guess like conceptually, it's, you know, that's a jab. He's slicing you with your sword after kicking you. And then I, I love Belmont's is I think very funny. I love the sound effect. On it. like the, <laughs> it's the really jab. funny. It's funny. It's like, if you do that, it's either an accident or you're a God and you had him in the corner and you did that and took 20 or whatever. But yeah, I guess. Oh, and I love plants because it's frame two for no reason. I love that. I love that jab. And the, yeah, I love the, 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 the sound it makes. Yeah. It. Yeah. The one, two, three is so good. Um, shout outs to Brawl Ike, Jeff. True, oh, true. We all just heard it when you said yeah. that. Pop, 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 pop. Do, do. Everybody knows that they play Brawl. Shout outs do, do. to Smash 4 Duck Hunt jab. You were never getting out of that. Dude, impossible. Which- in, in Ultimate, that sounds like it's not that impressive, but in Smash 4, it was kind of hit or miss whether your Rapid Jab could fully connect all the time. And mm-hmm. duck, But Duck Hunts worked, which was awesome. <laughs> Shout out to Bowser Jr.'s jab in Ultimate, because... So in Smash 4, it, Bowser Jr.'s jab would have killed. But in Ultimate, they made it work. And that's the... the <laughs> a lot of people think it's like a completely different move. But it's not. It just didn't work. It never worked in Smash 4. Um, yeah, there was no SDI cap. So just, if you if you haven't played Smash Four, you uh, could just hold away. I think. Well, SDI was better, and like rapid jabs also weren't as developed. Like they didn't keep you in as long. So like Tweak said, it was pretty much a coin flip. Some uh, rapid jabs worked, some didn't. Shout outs to K rules. That one is satisfying, dude. Yeah. I was gonna say that too. I love his. Um, <laughs> Sephiroth is like the coolest looking jab to me. The Sephiroth, fact that he hits you with the hilt is the so hilt. disrespectful yeah, it's rude, in BM. It's, rude, yeah. it's so hype. Oh, and I like the jab, the first hit of jab because it's kind of like a little bit downwards and it sweeps low. Like it sweeps low, yeah. Like you are like, beneath me, kind of animation. Um, yeah, I, I do like that one. That's about it. Um, I think Bayo's is good too. We we should have shouted hers out. Oh, Bayo's yeah, has really always good. been cool. That one worked in Smash Four. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like there's one other one I meant to. Oh, Incineroar is like the thumbs down. Oh, sick, I forgot that was the one I was forgetting. I just <laughs> love really good. The, like Incineroar's animations are fantastic. Yeah, um, exactly. You guys yeah. forgot to shout out Inkling Jab. Don't you guys really like Inkling Jab? <laughs> no, 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 absolutely not. Oh. Um, yeah, Steve Jab. Yeah, Wait, Steve rule. Jab. Wow, it's so cool. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, oh, I love Kazuya's Jab too. It kills to kill move. Do, do, do. Yeah, Super I cool. mean, I do. Yeah, I'll be real. Is a very I, cool do, I do like his. I actually do. I know we were being sarcastic. Shout but... out to 10 hit combo. <laughs> That's what rapid jabs <laughs> oh, were true. in Smash 4. 10 hit combo was rapid jabs in Smash 4. That is Easy. his jab. Easy. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Does that just win? What the hell? That's so funny. <laughs> Best jab. Oh, Bowser's has good impact behind it and DK. It does. Like Bowser's, and it's a good move. Like I think Bowser's and Yoshi's are pretty fun. Oh, I meant to say, shout out to Roy and Krom's jab too. Oh, what a wait, great, yeah. what a great right. change for that character, man. There's no, they don't have a jab two; they only have jab one. <laughs> you said jab two. T O O T O O jab. That <laughs> Chuck, Chuck got I can't wait to take next week off. Uh, <laughs> I got he got me. I was like, "What? <laughs> you truly confused me." <laughs> uh but that is a great like i love in smash 4 i love when they did that with roy i was like yeah. wow what a cool little change then it did nothing now it does something i forgot the most important one i forgot oh. the most important jab ever you you're genuinely concerned 
Oh I have a my gosh, shots. why? I uh, forgot I the most Isabel? important game of all time. And it's Donkey Kong Smash, Smash, Smash 4 jab. I'm so oh. asleep. That is it was the most lit jab to ever grace so Super Smash Bros. Sleep. Perfect Luigi. pivot jab and chaining people with it. And then like Bro. doing perfect pivot or like just hitting someone with jab and like grabbing them. Dude, Smash 4 had some of the coolest jabs. Because like there was Villager who was a launcher. Um, there was Fox who, well, Fox, pre-patch was broken. But after the patch, you could launch if you got tipper jab too, which was like cool because you got rewarded for spacing your jab too. And then Donkey Kong, you got rewarded for spacing your jab one because it would suck them in. So it was like, it was, I, I don't know. There, there was just really cool so like standout jabs in Smash 4. Broken. Very sick. You, you know who deserves a shout out for their jab is uh, Robin. I like the different variations and stuff. That's pretty cool. Different spell yeah. books you can use. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's neat. I like that. Well, Dude, yeah. What? I won so much in that game. <laughs> oh, with yeah. oh, with Donkey Kong? Yeah. yeah jab won a lot up of people. Till... Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, javelin reverse up tilt right was uh, yes confirm. Oh right. man, that just All made right. my day. Good memories. Thinking of Donkey Kong's jab made your day. <laughs> Thinking yeah. about competing on like a worldwide level with Donkey Kong it only in Smash Four. That was Leo's worst enemy. But for those who weren't around for Smash Four, uh, Tweaks DK was just his mortal enemy. Like it was. <laughs> Like to the point where he was like, "Please just don't do this. Like this sucks." That's what he, I remember that at Shine he wrote uh, on like the character selects thing. He was like, "Please don't pick DK. Like, do you, any, cloud cloud mirrors or cloud dittos, whatever you want, anything. Just not this. Please cloud. Please cloud. That's what he wrote. You wrote no, which I thought was With very sad. Funny. Face. Which, no, it's true. Was something like that. Shine's A couple weeks too. ago, I was actually watching Smash for Donkey Kong. I, I oh, don't know was- why. I was watching Leo versus Tweak at Leo Saga. That is the best variation of DK, like tier wise. He was pretty much a top tier character. Bottom of top tier, top of high tier. Yeah. Like there were some matchups that were rough, but you always had the human factor, right? Like I just need to grab and win. He was so fun. Here's one that, well, either you have an easy answer. Oh, the nine nine wine was cool. Yeah. That was cool, actually. Those who don't know who weren't around for Smash 4, if you wound up DK's punch, not all the way full, but just before. It was more powerful, which is crazy because you had to. Well, it's yeah. not that crazy, I guess. So you like, didn't get oh, the armor, awesome. and it was slower, but it was. Yeah. It would kill at like forty percent. Yeah. And like, so if you had it and you got like a jab lock, they were dead. They were dead. What uh, you said? I think Smash Four DK is the highest tier placement for DK, but he's not my favorite DK to play as for sure. Ultimate's my favorite, but okay. I had Donkey Kong down to like such a ridiculous science in Smash Four that. It had its own like satisfaction to it. It was just different. Like, dude, the the dash dancing, the jab ones, like the perfect dude, pivot, yeah, perfect pivot with jab. Like, it, it was tilts just, were insane too. Like, crazy it was, ground game. I'm a big fan of feeling like I am like playing as a boss in a boss battle, <laughs> and like I was playing as a boss, bro. Like, that was a boss battle. Like, it just is what it is. Were you a DK fan always, or was it Smash 4 that kind of, like, did you play him a little bit? Did you always just kind of like the character and stuff? Uh, in turn, I've always been a DK, like, Donkey Kong fan, like, as a franchise, but I always was more of a Diddy person in Smash. But I always tried DK, but Smash 4 is where I, was the only time I ever took him seriously, and I didn't actually plan on it. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that 0% combo. Oh! <laughs> he did? Oh. Oh, I messed up. Line for video watchers. Yeah, we're watching Leo um, versus Tweak in uh, Smash 4. DK versus Meta Knight. Marcus, Marcus knows the story for DK. Like, I didn't plan on taking him seriously, but I tried him at one, like, tournament after a major, and I beat everyone I played and won the tournament. Like, I beat some of the best players there, and I only played DK for fun, like, a couple weeks previously just because of, like, I just love grabbing people, and I was beating all my friends. <laughs> So I after the major I just tried him and I won and he was in the rotation ever since. The famous MSM that you went all DK just, and won, right? You just, or I know that no you're talking stance. about another tournament, but yeah. No, it was the MSM. Oh, it was the MSM. It was okay. uh, yeah, MSM yeah. was the, the tournament afterward. He was, I'm just sitting there, he's like, Yeah, I think I'm gonna go on Donkey Kong. And I Gavin back then was different. <laughs> if he lost the salt y'all think the salt levels are bad now they were insane before 
So yeah. I was like, Bro's gonna lose a game on Donkey Kong and Switch. No way he's staying DK the whole time. Bro lost a game and picked Donkey Kong again. And I was like, it's real. He's <laughs> he's he's locked in. Like, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say he just didn't lose a game. Like that was a possibility no, he too. Lost. He lost I think I did, yeah. He lost games. Yeah. Yeah. It- so like you just beat Leo uh, casually with the character you picked up like two weeks before. That's so funny. <laughs> so, and that was the same thing with Diddy though. I never took him that seriously either. Um, but I played him as my main in PM. But I didn't really. I was I was a kid. I wasn't like a super competitor. Like I just went to like my locals. So in ultimate like making that random decision to try it out and then sticking with it. It's like pretty much the same story in a way, which is actually, I never really pieced together. Like it's characters I've always played, but never as my primary character. So that's actually cool to think about. Oh, I don't if you even play know why Diddy we're talking Smash about. 4, bro, if you play Diddy in Smash 4, you have been unstoppable. <laughs> like, bro, I'm looking at it. You beat, you beat Mr. E. Then you beat Tyrant, who Tyrant was really good in Smash 4. Then you beat Como, and then you just beat Leo. Like, what? Yeah, these MSMs were very stacked. Post Saga's yeah. M- MSMs were, like, Dude, insanely I think stacked. It was such an important part of the culture in Smash 4. I wish we had more of that in Ultimate, honestly. We just don't have the same central hub for majors, as always. So it was hard. it's not easy to plan that, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, but I love that, man. The post post major local and people don't go to them anyway. Like that part, I don't know if that part of the culture is just dead, but I love that so much, man. Cause so MSM again, for those of you who are ultimate uh, people, it was hosted in SoCal after every single major tournament that was also in SoCal, which was 90% of them in smash four. That's ridiculous. Probably about 70% of them. Sorry. Um, but basically the long and short of it was in SoCal, they would have a major. And then on Monday, everyone would stay one extra day and do a local, where people might go secondaries, they might just try their hardest. Most people tried their hardest. Like it was like a, a bonus day of majors. Like so, now we get three day majors. We used to get like three and a half days of majors before, which was so cool. And I, on the East Coast, because obviously it's SoCal, I used to stay up till like two in the morning with work the next morning to watch MSMs because they were that good. Like they yeah. were, like if they were, I, I don't. I think there was a rule like weeklies couldn't count for the rankings but if they because could, of they, that <laughs> they would have been b or a tier tournaments if not straight up s tiers sometimes like the highest because everyone would just stay and everyone would play um so i hope that returns somehow at some point i don't know how but even seeing it once or twice would be cool the so is like for international talent especially too because um I, I used to work with 2gg and work for 2gg so uh, we also started doing locals on Friday. So it'd be like players land Thursday, local Friday, tournament Saturday, Sunday, like the major, and then the post MSM afterwards. And think about how much value that is for someone that flew so far away from like Japan or Europe or something like that. There was so much value added to that. So it was great for the players too. They, you just get way more experience. You get way more bang for your buck for all that time you traveled and all that. It, it was so amazing. Yeah. Great times. Also, we haven't talked about uh, Xanadu yet. Uh, none of us yeah. were there, though. So One of think? us was there. Well, not oh. you didn't enter bracket, though. I did not, yeah. no. no. But you were there. Um, yeah, I got there pretty late. I think easily the highlight of the tournament for me was Fawn's run. For sure. 11 Ws. 11. Dang, the double digits. Third place. Stacking Damn. it up. Uh, solo like this tournament was so like night and day from the other one. Like lots of zoners. Like I guess a zoner won the Florida tournament, but there was like a lot of Roy and stuff. Like mm-hmm. it felt like it was like two different metas, especially when it comes to regional type things. Like the other one was Florida Georgia, you know. But Icy missed one with Samus. Fawn Drop getting third with one Duncan. game. Drop one, one game, game. Yeah, crazy. Sam is better than Link. The the conversation. True, true. Sam is easier than Link. True, true. AK easier equals better. True, true. Uh, It's true. Yes. Maybe maybe in this case. Yes. The current skill level of our community, Samus is probably better. But you know, if our community was better at the game, then Links would just be fucking task infinite people. So wait, if easier is bet isn't better, then I don't want to hear anything about how hard Diddy Kong is anymore. It doesn't matter. Well, you're the one saying it, not us. <laughs> I wasn't talking about it. 
True. If you want to talk about it, let's talk about it. All right, let's talk about it. Just kidding. Uh, Quandell got second. Yeah. Fawn in third. uh, And their run, 11 wins. Also, some really dog shit matchups for that character. No pun. Uh, But beating Enhanced (laughs) PV with Duck Hunt is like, how do you even do that? You know what I mean? I have some great insight on that set. Because I was there. Oh. And uh, I help Enhance quite a bit. Um, he has like another dedicated coach, but I still help him a little bit. Um, and I'm like way in the distance. I'm I'm deep. And Enhance loses game two. And I'm like, how do we just lose game two? Like we went down 2-0. So I like go up there and I actually start paying attention. And I'm like, oh, you're young. Like you see these air dodges like over yes. and over again. This is I was like, like Josh uh-huh. I said, oh, you haven't had the experience yet of these types of situations and i i could just there were points where i was like you know what enhance might do this but then there were points where i was like no nah, you, you need to be humbled a little bit and like have <laughs> that you need that you need to have that heartbreak happen like you haven't been hurt enough so it was like really tough to see because i was like dang i really wanted him to do well but also i i, I was pretty certain after seeing some things i was like no nah, no way we win this set Damn. it was tough Kind of a uh, matchup crazy weekend, like in a couple different ways. Like not one big tournament, but it's so interesting seeing like metas clash and like you know weird characters come in. Like seeing how like because enhance is like a resident like best player. Like plays a character that everyone's familiar with. So it's just interesting when like someone from Tri State pulls in and is like, "Hey, like I play Duck." Yeah. Right. (laughs) What up? Yeah. Or Icy Mist showing up and using Samus. Like, I mean, I mean I'm not sure like what's more familiar uh, over at Xanadu, but it's just it's just crazy because if you know if I think about Jersey, like uh, there's a lot of like Diddy Kong. There's like some there's wolf. Like, Diddy Kong. There's yeah Donkey Kong Country, um, <laughs> and like New York has like a lot. Like over in Long Island, there's like Yoshi's a lot of Yoshi. Island. Yeah, Yoshi's yeah. Island. Like it's just it's just cool when like it's on a regional level where it's like just a couple different regions clashing, but it's like so like night and day. Um, it kind of reminds me of what we talked about on the episode with Max. Like, I think it was oh it might have been on the Patreon. Max might have been there, but like uh, Marcus mentioned how like everyone over at Xanadu plays like it's brawl and like weird stuff like that, just because of like who taught them Smash and like. I don't know. It's smack, like especially ultimate. It's such a large game that like so many weird clashes happen. Yeah, <laughs> like I- ideals and metas and characters. Like, well, it, I've noticed this for a long time, but usually, like the characters your region plays is heavily influenced by the top players in them. So I remember, like, it, it was PM where I really first started to notice this, where I was like. There are a lot of Lucases and Diddy Kongs around. Like, what's going on here? Like, what? What? And then I just started paying a little bit more attention. Like, we have a lot of Ridleys here because Smub does well. And we have a lot of Fox and Wolf here because CD and Dexter do well. Um, We also have a good amount of Mimmins here. And, like, people are always asking me for advice. I don't know. It's like a lot of time. And there's some people who, like, go off and do their own thing. But a lot of the times, like, you look at the top players of a region, then you look at like their like mid level, and you're like, "Oh, oh, that's where they got these ideas from." Because they just they just see success, and I'm like, "If I if they could do it, I could do it." Well, you still only have one little Mac, though. No, we don't. You got many. We have a ton. They've yeah. actually always had at least a couple. Yeah. Yeah, Peanut, Alternus, Domo. I oh, think, true. Uh, Combo Free. I'm bad like, we, yeah, we got. We we have at least four that I can remember off the top of my head. Maybe putting Damn. on the gloves and going to work. Yeah, right? we have a ton of Ridleys. We have a gloves. ton of Ridleys, a which is a dog Ridleys. shit matchup for Mac, which is hilarious. Yeah, it's uh, it's hilarious, but it's, it's awful. A, a ton of Wii fits. We have a lot of Wii fits too. That's true. Oh yeah, let's go TK. Damn, I'm not showing up. TK influence. Oh so. yeah, it's brutal down here. I don't like Wii fit. <laughs> really? No, I do not like Wii fit. I do not like Wii fit. You know what's funny? I was like. I was thinking about you coming to um, homecoming, and I was like, "I hope Gavin doesn't have to play Oolong." That I could see, I could see that going uh, 
a little rough for him. Like he would probably win, but just I don't leave. like Belmonts. I don't like Wee Fit. I don't we have like... a lot of Belmonts. Wait, huh? Well, no, we only have one as far as You've, I yeah. said. I really like Ken and Richter. Nice. Same, <laughs> dude. Agreed. I, dude, like going to like Maryland tournaments, like MDVA tournaments, like. You just get like matchup checked and knowledge checked over and over. It's so annoying. That's interesting. It's really and weird. Y'all have Pac Man too? Yeah. Yeah. Well, and Hans is the smartest guy. You just pick Cloud. He's like, he sees all these characters. He's like, all right, Cloud yeah. sounds cool. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <Probably Thanks>. Hope. <laughs> this, this is great. Is about to go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Big yeah, Hans man, by the way. I, I thought he played great. I thought he played great this weekend, aside from, you know, fumbling in, in top eight, but Fawn was. They were on another one, man. Yeah. I Enhance love- was at Summit, and Enhance was playing a lot of games, playing with a lot of people, and, like, is grinds a lot, like, offline and online. So good luck mm-hmm. in the future. Good job at the event. And Cloud rules. <laughs> maybe, maybe not an ultimate, but in general. <laughs> maybe yeah, not. Uh, ultimate. Like, I, I, I still hate fighting against him, but, man, at least, like, at if least one character... Out. I was gonna say if one character is gonna do that to me, at least it's Cloud. Like, at least, you know, it's not like <laughs> yeah. some Fire Emblem gym that I've never heard of before or whatever. Like, it's all right, good. Right. And I, I really love tournaments like this oh, because it's it's great to see all the different sides of Smash, not just the super top level with yeah. all the su- like uh, with all the characters they use. Because I feel like when, especially if you haven't gone to a tournament and you watch, you know, the, the tippy top tournaments, right? And you're you're seeing all these meta characters and all this stuff. I feel like most people are kind of thinking like, oh, my first tournament experience, I'm going to fight a bunch of clouds or you know, <laughs> ditties or whatever popular characters are in these top eights, right? And it's like, oh, you have no idea what world you're about to enter, <laughs> right? Like get ready to learn and adapt to like 80 to 90 matchups. You you have no idea what kind of characters you're going to fight in a bracket. So these, these kind of tournaments where it's like, they feel more regional level. I feel like you get to see that side of Smash a little bit more, and it's highlighted, which is really sick to see. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Show up Agreed. to your first tournament. You're like, oh, snap. You are going to get Little Mac or I mean, Ridley. Or, you <laughs> they know, can't wait to play Byleth players. They I'm love saying. <laughs> I've been grinding that Wolf matchup. Hey, oh, yeah. what's good? I'm, I'm ready for all the spaces. I'm ready for this and that. I'm ready for Steve and Kazi. Like, let's go. Mega ahead. Man. You're like, yeah. oh. Jigglypuff. Would you like to go PS2? <laughs> Yeah. Or you get yeah down Bro. for PS2 yeah sure Donkey Kong like yeah. <laughs> you're like oh my God. oh no what? shit Yoshi's cool Mario oh, okay <laughs> nope. who okay. says Yoshi's cool for Game One <laughs> Mario <laughs> players bro Mar- Mar- grindy Mario Battlefield. players bro oh, what do we goodness. say Yoshi imagine if Chroma does Battle. that Yoshi's is the worst that's why dude this somebody is a Mario um from I think Jersey Xavier came to Xanadu and they had to play Peanut and they got hit with the trap. Oh, <laughs> Bro, no. took Peanut the Battlefield game one. It was not close. Yo, you like, cool at Battlefield? <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. Peanut every hits you time. with the classic Little Mac ladder. <laughs> every time it gets the classic. Me. Patent it. Copyright <laughs> that. Just like Mario, you know? <laughs> classic. <laughs> It's so funny when he does that because it's just so – it's not correct. Um, before we wrap it up, does anyone want to play Smash after this? Oh, I damn. could be down, honestly. To <laughs> oh, no. You've I just thought it would be funny to include that in the show because I'm inspired. I'm inspired. I want to jab with some characters. Oh, okay. Trying to figure out your favorite jab in Ultimate. That's crazy. I wasn't up. here last week. You were inspired to do shit. Now I'm here. Oh, right. my. Thanks for watching. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. We're done here. <laughs> Peace. Bye.